Uh, we'll first jump in with Leo Collins. 16 games, 16 games played. Uh, he started all 16. Uh, biggest thing with Leo Collins, he had seven holding penalties, four false starts, and he had five sacks allowed. Now, I think the biggest thing everybody's been talking about with Leo Collins is, should he be at right tackle? Should he move back to guard? Um, that's the quandary right now. And he signed the two-year extension, as we know, G, right? And made him uh, like the fifth pa- highest paid right tackle in the league. Mm-hmm. And he hasn't really performed to that level in the last two years he's been switched to the right tackle. Can we kind of say? He gave up five sacks this year. He gave up five sacks last year at the right tackle position. So that's ten sacks in total. Sacks don't really kind of define you, but it just seems like to me, you know, they – Tried to the experiment because they lost uh, Ron Leary. You know what I mean? So they were trying to kind of catch themselves because they didn't have anybody to cover it. So they moved him out to the right tackle spot. Doug Free retired. It just doesn't seem like that's his spot to go with. It just seems like he, the more he has to move his feet, the more problems he has. Obviously, when you're playing the guard position, you don't have to move your feet as much as you do the tackle position. And it seemed like he was more natural at guard because of his size as well. He's a very big man. So now it's like, what are they going to do with Leal Collins? Because they, he's up. You can cut him if you want it this year and save like $8 million on the cap. Uh, if they ride it out this year and keep him, is he going to get an extension beyond this? We're going to have to see because I don't know if it's going to be at right tackle, would you say? So if I was to go ahead and give a grade from me from what I saw Leo Collins this year, I'm going to give him a low C. It's going to be like a C minus only because I just cards today. Yeah. Oh, my great cards. I got my great cards. Sorry about that. It's the C right here. You see the C? Just look at the camera like you want to hold it to the middle. Of the camera. All right, there we go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got my C. He could be like a C minus for real, for real. And like I said, it's because we all seen the two year experiment at the right tackle position. And it just looks like he's a better guard for us. It looks like he would be a better mauler for us, and we need that size in the middle. We saw when we're going to drop to Connor Williams, we saw why he struggled. We He struggled because he didn't have that weight, and that was one of his bigger biggest problems. So it would seem that I know they pushed him out there, but if they're trying to really keep him, you may want to draft another uh, guy because the offensive tackle is very good this year as far as the draft goes. You can slide him back in. So that's going to be really something that we're going to really watch in the draft this year. <laughs> we are going through here giving offensive grades by position, by player, of anyone who plays significant time in 2018. So follow along with us. Comment your grades as well. Jamal Anderson gives him a C. Stephen Arthur gives Leo Collins a C. Uh, what's up, Joe Tranchina from Italy? Appreciate you. Kendrick Fulton, C minus. Floyd Pear gets C minus. Dave DeLeon, C. William Reynolds agrees with you. Let's move him back to guard. And what about kicking Connor Williams out to right tackle? Yeah, we're going to talk about that as well. And Kendrick Fulton gives him a C minus. Kendrick was in here disagreeing all last week. All last week. So we got to. Hey, you we said got, C minus, right? It, yeah, I said C minus. So, so good. Me and Kendrick is good. Starting the show off nice. Yeah, me and Kendrick is starting good so far. We'll see. Let's